What's up everybody, Keir Gomes here and welcome back. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a deck review. I know in reality it probably hasn't been that long, but it feels like it and that's okay because we're gonna solve that in today's episode. As you guys can tell from the thumbnail, as you can tell from the intro, and as you can tell from the title of this video, today we're gonna be talking about the Sky Island playing cards by Svengali. If you're not familiar, Svengali is a brand that was created by Alex Pandrea and Ida Wang. Sky Island is the most recent installment of the catalog. This would be the fourth deck by Svengali. I have reviewed the previous three on this channel so if you guys are interested in seeing those I will make sure that they're either linked below or pop up somewhere throughout this video. Before we get started please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already and without further ado let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. Okay, so a quick backstory on this deck. Now this is interesting because in the past we've seen Svengali do designs that are new and modern and definitely not something that we've seen before. However, this deck is actually a very, very similar uh, design concept to the original Sky Island playing cards, which were also produced by Alex Pandrea and designed by Ido Wang. Basically before there was Svengali, Ido Wang and Alex Pandrea had worked together on a couple of decks, but one of them was a Sky Island deck. It looked a little bit like this. And years later, after Svengali has been formed, they did a reprint with a lot of upgrades to the original design. And I'm pretty excited to talk about all of that, so let's just get right into it. The tuck box is done in glossy cardstock. It's not matte, you can see it catches light, therefore has a nice uh, glossy finish on it. It is done in mostly white and this very, very nice teal color. This looks very similar to kind of the original um, Cherry Casino decks. It's like a sky blue, but there's really a lot of teal in there. It looks really, really good. And then in silver and white, you can see it is uh, essentially a globe that wraps around the deck. There's no details inside of it other than some silver line work just to add some texture. You can see the Sky Island Airways logo in the bottom corner. One side of the deck says Svengali, which is the name of the brand. The other side says Concept by Alex Pandrea and designed by Ido Wang. The top has a 04, uh, denoting that this is the fourth Svengali deck to come out. All of them have that on the tongue flap, so that way even if you have them stacked like that, you can see one, two, three, four. The bottom has the Svengali website, as well as some manufacturing ad copy. The inside tongue flaps are just a continuation of the outer design, and that is pretty much it for the box. I really like this. This kind of reminds me of like the, uh, the inside of the box of the Stay playing cards. Really do like it. I love the color. We're gonna talk more about that when we get to the back design, but it looks so clean, and I love it with the white and silver. Looks very, very good. All right, let's pop it open. Ooh, yeah. All right, your back design, it looks like this. You can see again with that aqua teal color, it looks really, really good. Now, the pictures uh, made it look like it was more of a navy blue, but once you see it in person, you'll see what I mean. It's definitely more of an aqua teal type color, and it looks phenomenal, it looks really, really good. Now, I think the idea for the design of this was to kind of uh, emulate what a deck of cards that an airline might give you back in the 60s would look like, and in that case, the back design looks great. I think it really nailed that kind of vintage luxury airline look. In teal and orange, you can see the Sky Island logo being mirrored top and bottom with uh, two airplanes on either side headed in two different directions. This is definitely the most uh, minimalistic back design that we've seen from Svengali yet. Uh, the other three have been very, very detailed and very uh, complex in terms of the textures and kind of the, the colors and the patterns. This deck is really nice and straightforward, very casino style. A lot of you guys know this, I actually prefer decks like that when it comes to performance because there's really not a lot of distraction. You just get a nice color with a nice slick design. Huge fan, gotta say, really, really like the back design. All right, your Ace of Spades looks like this. Very nice Ace of Spades. Uh, it's basically just a giant spade pip with the sky inside of it. Uh, you can also see the uh, Sky Island logo kind of peeking off to the side there at the top and an airplane in the dead center. You'll also notice little things like it says premium airline since 1963. And you probably have also picked up on this awesome blue uh, border that kind of uh, disconnects into two uh, L shapes that kind of make for this really nice uh, vintage, again, very kind of airline or casino gift shop style ace. I really, really like that. You are gonna get two jokers that are almost identical. However, one of them has teal writing and the other one has orange, but those are the only differences. 
You'll see on the design that it's basically a caricature of an old, very vintage 1960s style airplane with the branding for Sky Island on it. And it says, dear passengers, thank you for flying with us. Now, this is really cool because it basically takes the formula of casino style jokers, which are put your uh, logo in the middle, put compliments of, and then the name right down below. Uh, this kind of took that and elevated it and made it match the theme. Uh, so it's just kind of two like personal thank yous that you would get with the deck. Uh, and I really, really like that. I also love that one is blue and one is orange. Really, really like the colors uh, and I like the way they work together, so nice. Okay, now as far as ad cards and gaff cards, you are not gonna get any gaffs, which is actually a first for the Svengali series, but I do like the ad cards that you get. One of the ad cards is kind of the seat back uh, turning into a flotation device instructions. Uh, there's no like reveals. It literally looks like the back uh, card that you would get uh, on an airline. So I really like that. Uh, there's not really a lot of application for it in terms of magic, but in terms of just having a cool ad card that matches the theme of the deck, I really like it. In some cases, I'm sure some of you could even use these as jokers and you'd probably get away with it. And your other ad card is the exit sections of the airplane on a Sky Island flight. So again, really cool, same idea as the previous ad card. Not a lot of use for it, but it does look great. Another really nice touch that came with this deck is that all of the aces are custom. So you can see all of the pips have a Sky Island ring around them and they all have those borders. So the clubs, the ace of clubs has blue, so does the ace of spades, and then the hearts and diamonds have orange. I think it looks really cool. Again, just a nice touch, a little something to spice up the deck and it works really well. All right, now the rest of the cards in this deck are kind of standard, but there are some subtle customizations. So as usual, let's get into it. The numbered face cards are exactly bicycle standard. The only difference being that the hearts and diamonds are done in a kind of burnt orange color as opposed to their normal bright red. Other than that, every other numbered face card is the same as you would see it like on a bicycle deck. You just get that orange instead of red, which again, with this color looks really good. Can't hate on it. So that's what they look like. Very, very simple. Now there is more color customization on the court cards, So let's take a look at them. You'll definitely notice that on the clubs and spades, uh, most of it stays the same. However, the colors have been swapped to a lighter blue, a lot of uh, silver ink, and then some orange in there. I mean, that definitely looks standard in terms of like performance. You could easily use this for magic, but it looks very, very nice. I think it's a really nice representation of what the face cards would look like on a deck that was this color and in this format. The court cards on the hearts and diamonds have again been swapped out red inks for orange. And again, with the blue and silver ink, to create a really nice and summery type contrast. This just, it just, it looks so nice. Aesthetically, it's very, very nice. I like that teal color. I like it with the orange and then the black and silver for a really nice like pop of contrast. Looks really good. All right, now that's everything that I can say about the way these cards look. So let's switch angles and talk about how it handles. Okay, so these cards feel really good. I can tell you that right off the bat. Uh, they are printed by the United States Playing Card Company on crushed classic stock. So for those of you that don't know, that's basically as thin as you can go with USPCC. And these cards definitely do feel very thin. You can see here, this is with the jokers and ad cards. It is a very, very thin deck and it feels very soft. I really like the way that it felt right out of the box. Uh, to compare this deck to other decks that you might own, I would say it feels very similar to the previous installments of the Svengali deck. So if you have any of those, definitely those. If not, then the Paperwave V1 were on crushed classic stock. These feel very similar to that. Any deck that Gemini has ever printed uh, it comes on crushed classic stock and it feels very similar to this. This is what the cards look like in a fan. Nothing special, you just get that teal color that pops out against those thin white borders. Uh, it looks really nice, but it doesn't look very uh, special. There's nothing that makes the fan elevated. Looks like the cards definitely Pharaoh best from top to bottom. And here's that new dribble sound. Ooh, listen to that. One more time. Quiet, you can't even hear it, I love it. Now, because the cards are so thin, they also spring extremely easy. They just glide right off the fingertips. As you can see, I'm not really having to strain my hand too much. Very, very easy. Ooh, feels so good. Now, I really like this deck for things like magic, just by the uh, standard aesthetic. You know, the court cards aren't confusing. They all look fairly standard. This definitely looks like something that you could pass as a deck that you got at an airport, um, which always helps kind of with the um, convincing of the cards that you're using. 
This is also a deck that I could definitely see people using for things like cardistry. Uh, and I say that just because of the vibrant colors and that minimal design, but also the crushed paper stock, I think is uh, preferred by most cardists. So it feels really, really good. It feels a lot like uh, those, those super thin cardistry decks that we all know and love. So yeah, for that, I would definitely say I recommend. Snappiness check. Woo. Not very snappy at all, and that is okay with me. There you go. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode and my review of the new Sky Island playing cards by Svengali. If you guys are a fan of this deck and want to pick it up for yourself, I will put the link down below where you can pick it up. It is limited to a 1000 print run, so I would recommend acting quick if you're trying to get some. And as always, let's turn the feedback over to you guys. Did you like this deck? Do you love it? Do you want to get more? Are you excited about the next one? Tell me all your thoughts and more down in the comments. As always, guys, don't forget to drop a like on the video if you liked it, and I hope you'll consider subscribing for more awesome videos just like this one. <sighs> With all that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.